And here we want to talk about the RAND and RAND between functions in the Microsoft Excel. This function can be used to generating the random numbers in the Excel. The first one will generate a random number between 0 and 1 exclusive. It means that we, do, we cannot have the exact number 0 and exact number 1 in, by using this RAND function. When you want to use this RAND function, you just simply need to write the RAND with the open and closed parentheses, so we do not have any arguments in this function. And it will generate a random number for you by that. And if you, for example, generate, you can generate lots of random numbers in the Excel. Also, you need to remember if you change anything in the cells of the Excel, or anything related to the souls of the Excel, these random numbers will be changed and updated. So, for example, if you insert a new sheets, you can see these random numbers not changed because anything is not changed in the these souls. But if you delete this sheet, you can see these random number updated. So you need to remember that as well. So let me delete these ones and also RAND between function will generate a random number an integer random number between the minimum and the maximum supplied number so for example if I wanna have a random number between 1 to 10 and if I want it to be a integer number I can just simply use RAND between function by writing this RAND between supplying the minimum number at the, in the first argument and the maximum number in the second argument so for example if I want to have a random number between the minus 1 and the minus 10 by using the RAND between so the bottom one the minimum one is the minus 10 because minus 10 is less or smaller than the minus 1 and the second one is the minus 1 so by supplying the minus 10 and one minus 1 we can have a negative random number negative integer random number between 1 and 10 and there is two application of these random numbers the first one that I use a lot is getting the samples from my population so for example here I have a some not uh, some characters or some names here and I want to extract a sample a random sample from these characters I just need to simply generate a rand between function which is, which is the which is the integer number and use that rand between as a row index and as a row number of these range so for example if I use an index function here and I tell that my range is D3 to D12 and I want to extract, I want to have the uh, the rows that is equal to the B3 which is my random number and the first column I can have my uh, sample, random sample here so if I want to have more than one sample from my uh, population how can I do that? I just need to simply rewrite this B3 as a RAND between function and I can use from 1 to the count of the count A actually the number of the characters in this cell count A in the column D minus 2 because the first one is the name and the second one is the empty row so by this way I can have a random number between 1 to the count to the number of the characters here and then I tell him that in this range I need to uh, retrieve the name the value of the source which is in, is the in the row number here and the column 1 so if I absolute this range I can have as much as random sample here and I, and you need to remember that these sample uh, sampling is by replacement which means that if I get the C from this range 
Then, for example, if I want to have another sample, I replace the scene to my population and then get another sample. So I can have more than one from one sample. And uh, this means that this is uh, with the replacement sampling. If I want to have not replacement sampling in the Excel, I need to use a loop function in the Excel. It's a little bit complex for using loop function. I can go to the options and then check box the enable iterative calculation. And by using that, I can have non repetitive random numbers. So, for example, here if I generate some random numbers here, I can see I have multiple 10 or multiple 1 here. But if I want to just have one uh, random number from 1 to 10 without replacement, I need to use the iterative functions. So it's a little bit complex to uh, explaining the iterative functions here. I need to record another video for that. So this is the first application of the random number. However, the second one is a rand and I want to have some random number between 5 to 8 for example but I need the decimal numbers how can I do that I just in the Excel have a random number which is generate a random number between a 0 to 1 but I want a random number that is between for example 5 to 8 minus 1 to minus 10 or something else with the decimal numbers by using the rand between I do not have any decimal numbers I just have a, an integer number so this random number is useful in the most of the algorithms for example it can be a Newton function for calculating the differentiant so uh, here I just uh, want to show you that if I want to have a random number with the decimal numbers between 5 to 8 I just can I just can use this function I need to supply a is a minimum number and the B is a maximum number so for example here I just say that the minimum one which is the 5 plus print open parenthesis the maximum minus the minimum close the parenthesis multiple to the some random number which is rand function in the Excel ran between 0 to 1 and by using that I will have a random number between 5 to 8 exclusive it means that I will never have exactly 5 or exactly 8 so I just can have a multiple as much as random number I wanted in the Excel so these two are uh, most application that uh, we need in the Excel, we need in the algorithms actually. Thanks for watching. Until next video, goodbye. In order to watch more training videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel DiacoTD. And if you want to see our products, please visit our website diaco.co.uk.